Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Kevin Dukes. Kevin Dukes sent me this really, really disturbing story and it's coming from Vicious Ass Virginia, okay? Once again, Virginia is back in the news. So what's going down in Virginia, you ask? What's going down is that we have a 44-year-old woman. Her, her name is Tanya Slayton. And what happened is that basically she was pulled over on a routine traffic stop. Her tags were expired on her license plate. And when the police officer went to investigate, they found out that the license plate was not registered in the state of Virginia at all. So the police officer decided to search the car. And upon opening the trunk, he was met with like a really foul odor. And he said something didn't smell right. And there was a bunch of black trash bags and they were taped up. And she was claiming there was nothing in there but clothes, but something in his gut told him to check it. And when he opened the bag up, he found human remains of a little boy. So this whole situation is just insane. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. A disturbing twist in the case we've been following for weeks. Investigators say remains found in a woman's car trunk belonged to her son who disappeared 11 years ago. I'm Bill Fitzgerald. I'm Candace Burns and our Shelby Brown has been busy trying to find out what may have happened to Quincy Davis back in 2004. She joins us live outside our Broad Street studio with new information. Shelby? Well, Candace, investigators are anxious to track down anyone who can help them uncover what happened to Tanya Slayton's son. Now, state police say it was like Quincy Davis disappeared for more than 10 years, and it seemed no one even noticed, not even when he didn't show up to school. No one noticed him until a recent traffic stop in Hampton. It's a very complex mystery. Virginia State Police investigators are trying to unravel layer by layer what happened to this 12-year-old boy between 2004 and now. This seventh grade picture of Quincy Jamar Davis was taken in the 0304 school year at Virginia Beach Middle School. The remains have been identified. Fast forward 11 years. State police say his remains are found stuffed in a trash bag inside of his mother's trunk. Police say Tanya Slayton was carrying Quincy's remains in her Ford Mustang June 6th when she was stopped for having an expired tag. That was um, determined through dental records. Sergeant Stephen Vick says it's like Quincy fell off the radar after 2004. He was living on Sunning Hill Court with Slayton then in Virginia Beach. A few years later, court documents show she was jailed after attempting to shoot her boyfriend. Where was Quincy then? Where was he when Slayton later moved to Richmond to this Fushi Street apartment? Where were other family members and did they know where Quincy was? Investigators say questions abound, but answers are slow coming. That's why they want the public's help to piece this bizarre puzzle together. If anybody attended school with him, um, had interaction when he was at the school system, uh, neighbors that were, might have been in the neighborhood, they might have talked to him, who might have seen him interact with other, other kids here in the neighborhood, anything. Like I said, anything that could be, that you may think is small, could be large to our investigators. So anything that you can provide, it's, it's a footprint. And that footprint we can take and go back days, months, years. We spoke with some of her neighbors who live here in Richmond off camera. They tell us they never saw Slayton with a child. They say they never saw her other adult son either. They also tell us investigators told them they don't believe that Quincy's death happened in that apartment building on Fushi Street. Of course, Slayton remains in Hampton in jail without bond. Working for you tonight in Richmond, Shelby Brown, CBS 6 News. All right, so you guys just watched that disturbing news clip. You know, I feel really, really bad. This young boy's name was Quincy. Jamar Davis. He was about 12 years old when he went missing. There's a lot of holes in this story. Another thing is that she also did some time in prison. What happened is that back in 2007, her and her boyfriend were going through a breakup. The boyfriend wanted to leave her. And she basically said, you're not leaving me over my dead body. And she went to go shoot at the boyfriend. She shot at him four times. He managed to escape by jumping out the window and cutting himself. So at that point in time, she was sentenced to 15 years in prison, but she ended up doing four and she got out on, you know, good behavior or whatever. So my thing is when she went to prison back in 2007, where was the little boy? I mean, did nobody think, okay, well, we need to watch him. We need to, you know, take care of him. Did no family member step up to take care of this young boy? The boy had been missing since 2003, 2004. I mean, this is just really, really sad. This is even worse than the freezer mom. The freezer mom's kids were only missing for two years. This little boy's been missing for damn near 10 years. And I mean, where's his grandparents? Where's his father? Were there any other siblings? You know, were there older siblings? Where are the cousins? I just couldn't imagine me disappearing for 10 years with my kids and 
and my brothers, my mom, my dad, nobody's concerned, nobody's wondering about the kids. It's like, is a family unit that fucked up in the black community that a child can go missing for 10 years and nobody bats an eyelash? That he's not in school. Nobody's wondering, you know, did he graduate high school? You know, there's no graduation cards, any birthday parties. I mean, this is really, really sick. A lot of people drop the ball. Not only this vicious ass, sick ass mother, but where the hell are the immediate family? I mean, it's one thing if you're not close with your family, but again, nobody was thinking about the child's whereabout, especially after this woman went to prison for four years. You know, nobody in the state was concerned. You know, I'm sure that they had it written down that she was a mother, so nobody thought about the well-being of the child. I mean, this is just really, really sad to me that this young boy has literally been in the trunk of this car for the past 10 years. You know, thank God that this police officer pulled her over, and thank God that he went with his gut instinct, as opposed to believing her damn fabrications, and decided to open up that bag maybe now this young boy can be buried and you know his soul can be at peace this is some really really sick disturbing ass shit i'm gonna need the state of virginia lock this bitch tiny slating up this bitch deserves to never see the light of day again there's something mentally wrong with this woman for her to have killed her son and to be driving around in the same car for the past 10 years this shit makes no sense whatsoever this woman is a psychopath she already tried to kill her boyfriend and now her son is dead she needs to be locked up for the rest of her life Anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. Anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this vicious ass story that's once again coming from vicious ass Virginia. All right, deuces. Hey, YouTube, it's your girl, Lovely T, and you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button, watching my previous videos, and following me on social media.